of the late Daily Double. We've got paces going at it. Uh, three to six-year-old fillies and mares. 1A, Governor's Lady Anne. Bill O'Donnell on the bike. 2B, Precious Strike with Herbe Fillion. 3C is Cloverleaf Gladys. Buddy Gilmore, the driver. 4D, Mad Hattie with Ted Wing. Number 5, OTB letter E, is sure to be with Carmine Abatello. 6F, Fancy Shotzi, Sandy Levy. 7G is Marzo with Jimmy Marone. And 8H, Sweet Bonnie Sue with Sonny Patterson. They're all in line. We get the call from Jackie Lee. They're off quickly. Cloverleaf Gladys out for lead up the rail is Governor's Lady. Precious Strike away third. Mad Hattie fourth. Sure to be fifth. Fancy Shotzi, Marza, and Sweet Bonnie Sue. Around the first turn and down the back stretch, Buddy Gilmore has uh, Cloverleaf Gladys on the front end by a length and a half. Governor's Lady Racing second, a length and a half from the back to Precious Strike third. That's Matt Hattie Racing fourth, sure to be Fancy Shanty, Marza, and Sweet Bonnie Sue. They're at the quarter pole on top. Cloverleaf Gladys by a length and a half. Governor's Lady second, it's a length and a half to Precious Strike third. Matt Hattie fourth, a quarter mile was in 30 and two. Around the paddock turn first time, Cloverleaf Gladys shows the way by a full length. Governor's Lady is second up the rail. That's Precious Strike third. Mad Hattie moves to the outside. First over, she's fourth. Picking up cover behind her he is uh, sure to be. They race toward the half-mile pole. Cloverleaf Gladys by a length and a half. Governor's Lady at the rail second, moving on the outside. Mad Hattie is now a close at third. Sure to be with cover fourth. Precious Strike fifth. Fancy Shanty sixth. Mars is seventh, Sweet Bonnie Sue is eighth, a half mile in one, one and two. Down the back stretch, the final time, three-eighths of a mile apace. Cloverleaf Gladys has the lead by a full length. Governor's Lady racing second, parked outside. Mad Hattie is third. Up the rail, that pressure strike right alongside of her on the outside is sure to be. At the three-quarter pole, Cloverleaf Gladys has the lead. Mad Hattie up to take second. At the rail is Governor's Lady to the far outside. Three wide move by sure to be. Three quarters and one, 31 and three. Around the final turn, Cloverleaf Gladys maintains that lead. Governor's Lady is ready to move off from the rail if she finds racing room as they come to the top of the stretch. That's uh, Cloverleaf Gladys and Governor's Lady. Shaking loose now and challenging for the lead. At the rail, it's Cloverleaf Gladys on the outside. Governor's Lady, Cloverleaf Gladys. Under the wire, Cloverleaf Gladys, given a patented uh, Buddy Gilmore drive, pulls off a late charge by the odds-on favorite Governor's Lady to win the seventh race in a driving photo finish, a mile in 2-1 flat. And now back to Stan Bergstein. The Happy F Farm of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, has reason to be happy tonight as their three-year-old high ideal filly Cloverleaf Gladys wins it as number three letter C and pays twenty, eighty, six forty, and five dollars. One A Governor's Lady N three twenty, three forty, and that's okay. More to show than place. And two B Precious Strike six sixty to show. We'll be back.